What's the story, Hopper? What's this you're teaching us? Sifting through the bull crap because there's been so much. What's the truth now, Hopper? Do you think it's worth the look? Fixing revisionist history from all your school textbooks. Get the scoop now, Hopper. Fix the lies and fails. Sniffing out the bullshit. It's Hopper on the trail. Come on, Hopper. What's the story, Hopper? What's the story, Hopper? Catch the bullshit, Hopper. The words separation of church and state have turned into a colloquialism often incorrectly being attributed to the Constitution directly, where the words never actually appeared. No, the words were originally written in a private letter from Thomas Jefferson to the Danbury Baptists in 1802, specifically responding to a letter of theirs expressing concern regarding a state-enforced denomination. Sir, among the many million in America and Europe who rejoice in your election to office, we embrace the first opportunity which we have enjoyed in our collective capacity since your inauguration to express our great satisfaction in your appointment to the Chief Magistracy of the United States. And though our mode of expression may be less courtly and pompous than what many others close their addresses with, we beg you, sir, to believe that none are more sincere. Our sentiments are uniformly on the side of religious liberty, that religion is at all times and places a matter between God and individuals, that no man ought to suffer in name, person, or effects on account of his religious opinions. It is not to be wondered at, therefore, if those who seek after power and gain under the pretense of government and religion should reproach their fellow men, should reproach their order magistrate as an enemy of religion, law, and good order, because he will not, dare not, assume the prerogatives of Jehovah and make no laws to govern the kingdom of Christ. You see, with a new nation just having escaped the oppressive thumb of the Church of England, the Danbury Baptists were naturally fearful of the government corruption of personal religion, a fear which President Jefferson specifically quelled. Gentlemen, the affectionate sentiments of esteem and approbation which you are so good as to express toward me on behalf of the Danbury Baptist Association give me the highest satisfaction. Uh, excuse me, Mr. Jefferson. Don't bother me. I'm, I'm busy. Uh, apologies. Believing with you that religion is a matter which lies solely between a man and his God, that he owes account to none other for his faith or his worship, that the legitimate powers of government reach actions only and not opinions, I contemplate with sovereign reverence the act of the whole American people which declared that the legislature should make no law or respecting an establishment of religion or prohibiting the free exercise thereof, thus building a wall of separation between church and state. See, Jefferson was expressing that the government would stay out of the business of running churches because he personally deeply valued faith, even its impact on government, and understood that government-organized religion would actually be corrosive toward it. Basically, don't worry, we are never going to be like those limeys at Church of England. Those guys are dicks. <laughs> dicks? This was often confused with the notion that President Jefferson wanted Christian principles kept out of government, which is far from the truth, considering that Jefferson was a man of deep faith himself, and practiced it even in the way he closed this very formal letter. I reciprocate your kind prayers for the protection and blessing of the common father and creator of man, and tender you for yourselves and your religious association assurances of my high respect and esteem. Thomas Jefferson. January 1st, 1802. It's just that, Mr. Jefferson, sir. I said, don't bother me. I say it's a mention. Oh, no, no, you go get it. You get it now. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. I said, don't bother me. I meant it. Grr, sound of flesh ripping. What a strange individual. Catch the bullshit hopper Maul the bastard hopper Hey, if you like this clip, it's taken from the full daily show available exclusively at lotterwithcredit.com slash mug club. That's for mug club members because we can't be dependent here on the Google YouTube overlords. Subscribe there. We have a daily show, full hour every day. If you don't, well, there's no saving you.